So at some level, the ocean is 70% of anything we're talking about is the ocean. We don't talk about the ocean 70% of the time we're talking about climate or, or energy or so many of these other issues we're focused on today. Why do, you, why do you think that is? I think the reason for it is as simple as us sitting here in our chairs. You know, we're <laughs> terrestrial organisms. You know, if you just think about it for a split second, you realize that everything that we depend on in life comes from the oceans. Every drop of rainfall is evaporated off the oceans or recycled off the land that originally came from the oceans. The shoreline where we live is dependent upon sea level. Food security, agriculture is again tied to these heat extremes and the, and the rainfall extremes that themselves are controlled by ocean temperature patterns. The oceans have taken up in excess of 90% of the, of the heating, um, excess heating that comes from the rise of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. But the oceans have also taken up about 25% of our uh, fossil fuel emissions. And the reason for that is that carbon dioxide from the air, which comes from our breath, from our breakfast or our lunch, <laughs> um, we respire that and that comes, uh, that carbon dioxide exchanges with the water. CO2 plus H2O makes a weak acid and that's the essence of ocean acidification. Actually, the, the total reservoir of carbon in the ocean is actually 50 times the carbon reservoir that's in the atmosphere. So the ocean is this 900 pound gorilla in terms of the, what we call exchangeable carbon, where you can move carbon from, to and from. Much bigger than forests, much bigger than soils, much bigger than people. Uh, it's just tremendous. So it's this vast carbon reservoir. That carbon is basically just distributed throughout the world's oceans. So 70% of the Earth's surface, average depth of about four kilometers. It's a lot of water filled with carbon. And so that's why the ocean is this huge, huge reservoir of carbon.